Hi guys, I hope you are all go good, uh, safe and sound. And this uh, le video lecture is a continuation of electrotherapy. So we basically learned that uh, we have three uh, main uses for electrotherapy. We can use electrical currents for pain control, for muscle contractions, and also for tissue healing. Okay, so let's see uh, what this is about. In tissue healing, uh, we have basically, uh, this is promoted primarily by ionic effects. What I mean with that? Comparing uh, pain control and muscle contractions, uh, we need uh, the electrical currents they cause nerve depolarization. Okay, so with, with the effects caused by nerve depolarization, we have um, decrease of pain, for example, and also activation of muscle, specific muscle fibers uh, of motor neurons. Okay. Uh, so for pain control and muscle contraction, we have the effects caused by nerve depolarization. And in tissue healing, we don't have any nerve depolarization here. Uh, the effects are instead caused by um, the movement of ions, okay? So we all know that the cell uh, has an internal compartment, okay, which is negatively charged inside and positively charged outside, okay? This is mainly caused by the action of sodium potassium pumps uh, that exist in the, in the cell membrane, okay? Uh, now imagine a situation in which we have uh, an, a tissue that is injured. When the tissue is injured, uh, we have rupture of, of the cell membranes, okay? So we, this causes a disruption in many cells. Uh, as a result, the charges of the wound, they, are, they become positive. Okay, when the cells are ruptured, when we, when we have uh, an in, uh, tissue that is injured, the result is that we have uh, positive charges in the wound. Okay, so uh, the main applications of these kinds of uh, injury of currents for tissue injury uh, is. Uh, to close wounds, for example, in this picture here, we place the electrodes next to the wound, and then we, it will, the currents will cause the wound to close, okay? Uh, we have uh, effects of currents for, to reduce edema. Uh, in this picture, you see uh, the electrodes placed here in the leg, in the lower limb, and also, uh, the, this is a combination with elevation, okay? With elevation of the limb, this also helps uh, in edema reduction. And finally, uh, the transdermal delivery of medications. Uh, this uh, was, uh, we saw previ previously uh, in iontophoresis, okay? Uh, in which basically we have medications different types of medication uh, that can be applied either in the, in, the, in the type of a gel, in the form of a gel, or using this device here, okay, that this can cause, uh, the medication is liquid here inside, um, and this can cause uh, the, according to the polarity of the medication, we have positive, medication and negative charged medications, this can uh, potentially be uh, transferred through the skin, okay? Based on the principle that uh, same charges, they are repelled, okay? So uh, to treat, for example, a, a wound, as we mentioned that this wound has uh, positive charges, um, we will use 
uh, a positive medication, okay? Because this positive medication will uh, be repelled and therefore uh, it will be um, um, transferred to the skin. So this is um, according to the goals of the treatment, okay? Because we have different types of medications, including anti-inflammatories or analgesics, okay? So let's focus more on the wound healing and the edema control, okay? Uh, for wound healing, the electrical currents, they can attract appropriate cell types to the injured area. Uh, so it presents effects on cell migration, proliferation, and function. So let's take this picture as an example of a wound here, okay, in the arm. And then we, we apply electrical stimulation here to treat the injury, the wound, okay? So we all know that uh, when a tissue is injured, we have different phases of wound healing, okay? So we have the initial phase, which is the inflammatory phase. Then we have proliferative phase and remodeling phase. So for each of these phases, we have different cell types that are activated in each of these phases. For example, in the inflammatory phase, we have these inflammatory signs, and the most typical cells that are present here uh, are neutrophils, uh, we have lymphocytes, we can have platelets or mast cells, uh, so we have those, those are the typical cells, okay, that are present when there is uh, this phase of inflama inflammation, okay. Um, based on that, the, these cells, they are, remember that when they, they, there is, uh, they, there is a t uh, an injury in the tissue, the, this area becomes positive, positively charged. So we have these cells that they have, the polarity will also uh, be attract, according to the polarity, they will be attract to this site of the injury. So to treat this uh, injury in acute inflammation, the polarity of the electrode is really important, okay? Because uh, if the injury, in the, if the wound has positive, is positively charged, um, we have to put the negative electrode, okay? The negative electrode next to the um, to the wound. When we apply the negative when we place the negative electrode next to the wound, which is positive. So all these cells, neutrophils, um, lymphocytes, uh, platelets, they, these cells or cell fragments, they will be uh, attract to the negative pole, okay? So they will be attract to the negative pole and they will um, uh, cause these effects, okay? Uh, increase of blood flow, to skin temperature, and vasodilation. Uh, and we have, so, a couple of biological effects, including alteration of cell membrane permeability, uh, increase of cell migration, reduction of edema, enhancement of antimicrobial activity, and increase of protein synthesis, according to each phase of the inflammatory process, okay? So here, for example, in the proliferative phase, we have um, other types of cells. They are more active here, okay? Including uh, keratinocytes uh, and also myofibroblasts that they help on the, um, to increase the rate of wound contraction, okay? And finally, in the remodeling phase, we have more uh, remodeling and re-epithelization. So in the re-epithelization, we have more uh, epithelial cells, okay, active here in this phase. So those are the indications that are uh, described for wound healing. Uh, if we want to use uh, currents 
uh, to heal inflamed or infected wounds, okay? So this is the first phase of inflammation that we saw in the previous picture. We should uh, place the negative electrode, as I explained before, okay? The negative electrode goes next to the wound because the wound is positively charged, okay? Because of the cells in the inflammatory phase. In case we want to treat uh, non-infected wounds or necrotic wounds, okay, uh, we could also think about chronic wounds, uh, we place the positive electrode, okay, which is also called anode next to the wound, okay, so this is the anode and the negative electrode is the cathode. So here in this table, we see uh, the recommended parameters, okay? So for both, for all types of wounds, independently, if regardless if they are uh, acute or chronic, we use uh, HVPC, which is high voltage post current, okay? In a high voltage post current, we, we can apply the negative electrode in case of acute uh, or infected uh, wounds and the positive electrode because here, uh, thinking about the positive electrode, um, in this case of um, uh, chronic wounds, we have more action of macrophages and also uh, epithelial cells. Remember the uh, re-epithelization. So those cells, they are negatively charged. Therefore, they will be attracted to the positive electrode. Okay, so this is the reasoning. Uh, the reasoning is that, uh, the, uh, that opposite charges, they are attracted. Okay, so in this case here of wound healing, we want to attract specific, specific types of cells uh, according to the phase of inflammation. And for edema control, we have uh, those indications here. Uh, edema, when depending on the classification of edema, okay, so edema can be caused uh, by inflammation. Uh, when, how do we know? when the edema is caused by inflammation. We see the area, uh, we inspect the area, and it appears red and warm. Uh, and also we have edema caused by lack of motion. When the edema is caused by lack of motion, the area appears pale and cold. Examples for that, uh, in someone who is uh, immobilized for uh, a long period, like, after a cast immobilization, we have when um, when we take when we take out the, the cast, we see uh, edema. But this edema is not because of inflammation. This edema is because uh, there is no motion, like long periods of immobilization. So we we can also uh, it can also cause edema uh, or retention of liquid in the tissue. Okay. So the reasoning here is that uh, if edema is caused by inflammation, this is the same reasoning as in the acute wound, okay? We place the negative uh, electrode next uh, to the area of edema, okay? Because this is the same reasoning of the inflammation, okay? Thinking about uh, the charges and also that the... Um, Edema, in edema, we have the serum proteins, okay? The serum proteins, they are um, negatively charged. So when they are negatively charged, the serum proteins, we apply the, ne the negative uh, electrode next to, the, to this area of edema, and then uh, the charges will be repelled, okay? Uh, the serum proteins that I mentioned, uh, they actually, they attract uh, water, okay? So they, they like, they push water. When we, examples of serum proteins, we have albumin, okay? Which is a serum protein that they, 
they they cause more water to they push water within uh, within it so placing the negative electrode here we will cause uh, repelling of charges of negative charges okay therefore uh, we cause like edema to be reduced and in case of lack of motion uh, we we use another type of current which is biphasic this current is similar to uh, tens to to tens like uh, acupuncture like tens uh, the difference is that this uses uh, slightly higher uh, pulse frequencies okay but when we use this kind of current the effect that we see that it will produce um, visible contraction okay in the in the in the muscle so why visible contraction because if the edema is caused by lack of motion we need the muscle to contract okay again uh, to reduce this kind of edema and on the other uh, type of edema caused by inflammation the effect is only comfortable comfortable tingling okay caused by inflammation which is the same effect produced uh, in wounds okay so uh, that's it for now uh, and as a continuation we will see the next video lecture about electrical currents for muscle contractions.